Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. do it so they have this understanding of that philosophy, and they can be in touch with the invoking of spirits that are trying to reach their inner self, and and then they start to see hallucinations or images. They start so when, to see angels, ascended masters, or spirit guides. Wow. So when you lose your senses due to uh, like uh, drugs or uh, alcohol. They call it spirits for a certain reason. I think we covered this. Like it allows, opens yourself up to evil spirits to enter your your physical body. I don't know if that's true or not, but well, your think mind, about this. Your think soul, about this, Darren. Mind, will, and emotions. In in the new age and in the occult, most of that practice, whether you want to not go that far or not, most of that practice involves when you get into higher levels, invoking and summoning entities. Mm-hmm. Or, or summoning angels, and then eventually those angels appear out of nowhere, and you no longer have to summon them. Why is that? Because now you're attuned to them. You've become the conduit for them. Yep. And the question is, what are these entities? Are they angels? Or yeah. are they spirits? Are the, Yeah. Are these uh, substances channels to open up the pathways to uh, these entities? You know? Sure. And Probably. then you'll hear within the circles of New Age— that they don't know how to distinguish between a good entity and an evil-minded entity. So they have to be careful. So what do they do to ward off the evil-minded entities? They use witchcraft. They use witchcraft and invoke more good-minded entities, which could mask as an, a good uh, a sheep that is really a wolf, a dark entity. Like they don't know. Light. Yeah. Yeah. A so they practice, like you said, they practice mm-hmm. the witchcraft, the warding off the, the protective magic. Yeah. They're using Satan's materials to protect from Satan. Exactly. Essentially. Yeah. And this, even in new age, as much as they don't want to admit they're using witchcraft, they are using witchcraft. Mm-hmm. These are the dark arts, the, the hidden arts. Yeah, in fact, we see the uh, dark overlords have been given that knowledge by the evil spirits, like, for instance, Area 51, or if there's technologically advanced things that are in violation of God's laws and principles, that's where that's coming from, is uh, the, you know, the second, uh, you, know, you shall not, or you, know, was it, you shall have uh, knowledge. Uh, mm-hmm. well, I think we cover that, too. So Yeah. And, uh, you know, in the West here, you know, we were introduced these Middle Eastern philosophies by gurus that come in here and they they basically uh brought new age to us to to the people um through uh uh through uh other other overt methods like yoga to invoke the spirits but they don't tell you that's what it's doing they tell you it's for postures and if you Listen to gurus, and you have to be certified uh, to be a yogin. You have to be certified under a me- Middle Eastern guru. And people don't realize that. If you're, you know, a Christian and you're and you're studying yoga, to be certified, you're going to be under a yogi. You have to be, because that's the authentic art. But what the yogis had said, the gurus said that they introduced yoga to the to the West in order to secretly bring in their worship as the primary purpose of the postures. The the exercise, the breathing, the meditation, the postures is a secondary purpose of yoga because the very name yoga means yoking with the gods. Mm-hmm. That's the primary purpose. And so, And these are all counterfeit ways to try to reach the divinity. They uh, Some people say they're Christian because you're born into a Christian nation or a culture, but um, they believe that you can experience your spirituality through any other means. And wow. this is ex- exactly what John 10 says. This is what Jesus said in John 10. I am the door. No one comes to the Father except through me. And he was talking about, well, it, he was talking about, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But he was talking about being the door, the door to God and that door, he says, if you come up through any other way, like through a window or through any other way, you're a thief. You're not coming through me. You're not coming to me. Therefore, you're a thief. You're a counterfeit. 
And that's what these experiences teach you, how to be divine, skipping the necessity of having to come through Jesus Christ and going right to God. But you're not going to God because God doesn't recognize you without the uh, redeeming power of your trust in Jesus Christ and believing in, in his resurrection for your sins. That's what the Christian believes. They don't have no means like that. They believe they're going directly to God. So either God is a liar and he sent two different ways. You can come through Jesus Christ or you don't have to come through Jesus Christ, right? Which would be schizophrenia. Or they're going to God through another means. They're not really reaching God. They're coming short of God and they're reaching their own attempt at divinity, which is probably being displaced by some spiritual entity masking God and showing them a pridefulness in themselves of spirituality. And, and of course, like I said, it's accompanied by spirits. Most likely, most times they are. They, they get confirmed by these angels, these entities that come and feed them falsehoods to gain their trust, revealing themselves as ascended masters, which in, can interchange as aliens for all we know. Uh, that's how aliens you know, are very, very prominent in these circles too, the new age. But, you know, they say they're here to enlighten you and save you with answers. So Gnosticism becomes the salvation and they connect you by use of occult witchcraft means. And you may resort to summoning them through rituals, Ouija boards, tarot cards and conjuring. 